Welcome back. You're watching Credlin. I'm Chris Smith. I want to turn now to the increasing number of gotcha stories surfacing about the so-called independent candidates running against Liberals in the upcoming election. Millionaire entrepreneur turned climate warrior Simon Holmes Accord's Climate 200 Group is backing most of these independents in Liberal seats right across the country. And in a warning to anyone tempted to vote for these voices of independence, beware of their backers. It was revealed today that Allegra Spender, running against Liberal Dave Sharma in Wentworth, is being backed by a major get-up donor. So-called independence, huh? Joining me now is Federal MP for McKellar, Jason Falinski. Jason, good to have you with us. Um, these independents continue to be, I don't know, outed for having their links to the Labor Party. I think we've counted four now with links to the Labor Party. If you are independent, I think the public expects you to be independent, not just say you're independent. What's your reaction to Allegra Spender's connection to get up? Well, mate, it, it really comes down to why, what, what are they hiding? Like, why can't they just be upfront and honest with people? I mean, it goes to the, the really primary question of, you say you want the balance of power in, gov in, in Parliament, so tell us which party will you support into government? Now, we all know the answers, the Labor Party and the Greens. They won't out, they won't deny that, but they won't come out and say it. No, and that lack of transparency should be viewed as cynical by every single voter that comes across them. And the, th the point is this. I think Australians are fundamentally sensible and good-hearted people. They think they're fools and they think they can be easily fooled with all this nonsense. Yeah, yesterday in Sydney we had... Dear, oh dear, the second day of transport chaos. One climate activist, I'll get his name right, Eric Serge Herbert, blocked the spit bridge leading to the northern beaches, causing further traffic nightmares. It's since been revealed he was sentenced to 12 months in prison last year for disrupting a coal train in Newcastle. He's been re-arrested, got bail for organising a street party to celebrate the Queen's COVID di diagnosis. He's a foul piece of work. And then we hear that the mob that he's supporting, Fireproof Australia, whatever that means, pays people 50 bucks to slap flyers on houses in suburbs. And that's the thing. A lot of this money coming in from is coming in from overseas. A lot of it is coming from very extreme left-wing groups. And yesterday, I condemned the fact that they made the lives of tens of thousands of working Australians harder. Mm. We got it, made it harder for them to get to work, harder for them to get their kids to school and harder for them to pay the bills and pay the taxes. But, you know, at the end of the day, I said none of this ever happened on the Northern Beaches until Climate 200 candidates turn up. Mm. That's all I said. They condemned me for condemning them. They never condemned the protesters. You're right about the timing of all of this. That is a really interesting point. Now, finally, the New South Wales Liberal Party. It's My in a mess. Your favourite subject. Your favourite <laughs> subject. It's in a mess. You've got court action. You've got possible federal intervention. You've got pre-selection disagreements left, right and centre. There was a warning today from Warren Mundine that the Liberal Party in New South Wales is repeating its mistakes of 2019. Of course, he was parachuted in to stand as the Liberal candidate for Gilmore in 2019. Then you've got Warringah, who else? Eden Monero, uh, Dobell, Parramatta, others... The Liberal Sorry, candidates Chris. have not Sorry, been pre-selected. You're making me cry. I mean, look, um, Warren's right. And by the way, Australia needs people like Warren Mundine in Australian Parliament. And the sooner the better, frankly. But the fact is, we need what is going on in New South Wales at the moment is unforgivable. We need to put aside our petty squabbles. We need to come together because the Australian people don't deserve Anthony Albanese and what they don't and we shouldn't be making it. Easy for him, either. Well, look at Zali Stegel in Moringa. She's on her knees over that donation scandal. There's no Liberal candidate fighting the good fight. That's absolutely right. And I, I have people in Moringa all the time say to me, she told us it was about integrity, she told us it was about climate. Here she was taking a donation from a coal baron who bought his coal mine from Eddie Obeid and then tried to hide that donation. Where's the integrity? Where's the transparency? Where's the concern for the climate? Yeah, and where's the Liberal candidate fighting hard? Jason Falinski, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks, Chris. Good on you. All right, of course, the biggest story of the day